All right, here we are, back at St. Thomas Dragway. Keep my fingers crossed for the transmission. MZ82, stay together, because we only got two weeks till the hell. We're going for that record, though. We need to stock record. It's the fastest 60-foot car's ever done. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's how it looks, though, when you go fast. It's yeah. working good. Different at the front yeah, of the track, every track, every cooking, it's not all over the plate steering. It's recording, you're recording. Yeah, yeah. Might as well do it in front of the, do it in front of the car. <laughs> Coming in for the fucking new. What are you guys saying here? You already? You see, you see us, you see us. See you, see the car. The There's zoo. fucking dog. Yeah. Ready, dog? Yeah. Hey, what so, up, dog? All right, we're back out at Longton Fab. Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chris. As you can see, the car's back on the hoist here. We got some testing coming up this week. Um, so if you missed our last video, we went to the finals at Hard to Kill at St. Thomas Dragway. Still having issues with the tire. We keep running over the tire. Uh, we were adding tire pressure, adding rebound, trying to get that sorted out. So we're here today, make some suspension changes. I uh, reached out to Hooser. Basically they were useless, pretty much. <laughs> Couldn't answer any of my questions. Was trying to figure out if there was like maybe a range of tire pressure that we should be trying on the car. Zero to 30. Zero to 30 is pretty much what Zero they said. Zero to 30 is what they said. Um, so we were, we're... Up to, yeah, <laughs> we were getting up to 15 PSI in the back. And they're still crushing it. So yeah, basically talking to Hooser was like asking Justin Trudeau a question. Just no solid <laughs> answers. So. Hey, right on. Give him a round of applause. Come on, give him a round of applause. So I reached out to, to Viking to see what they thought. Maybe we were pushing past the capabilities of these shocks because we almost had a max down. I think there was four or five clicks left in extension of them and rebound. So from talking to them, they said that these rear shocks are capable up to like 2,000 horsepower. So they got guys with the same chassis, pushing up 2,000 horsepower. So definitely the valving's not our issue. So um, I explained where we're at for anti squat and all that sort of jazz and they kind of agreed with what we are thinking that there's too much anti-squat in the car. So it's like 124% anti-squat, which Viking was saying, typically you'll see that in a radial car, not a slick car. Uh, doing a bunch more research, kind of the same same shit I was well, I think it with. worked all right when we had less power. It was doing okay. Yeah, with you know, less power. But now it's more apparent because it's driving it's it really, down even harder. So. Really punching it in. So. I think, I don't know. We're, you know, we're learning. Yeah, we're learning, we're trying, trying different things. We got. <laughs> We got testing coming up this week, so we're gonna bring you guys along for that. Um, so we've gone ahead and actually changed the position of the upper control arm. So there's three positions on the top, three positions on the bottom. Uh, we're in the lowest hole on the bottom. We're gonna keep it there. Uh, we brought the top one to the center position. So that'll bring our instant center like further out and still keep us above the anti-squat line. So it should still separate a bit. Um, based on my research, it'll probably be somewhere around 105 to 110 percent anti-squat. So we won't be pushing the tires hard into the into the ground. So hopefully with that change, um, hopefully we can get it to stop running over the tire. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be headed out to I guess TMP this week. It wasn't gonna say Thomas, but now it's changed. So TMP, TMP for some testing. Got to get the car ready for cash days up the hill. So hopefully we can get this thing sorted this week. If not, we might end up uh, doing some more testing before before that event in Ohio. So yeah, that kind of wraps that up. I think we'll have to do something with the pinion angle. So. See if we get hold of Tyler, get uh, that dialed back in again. But I think that's going to be be it for for the hoist here at Longton Fab again. Get to put the Impala back on. Yeah, we got to put the Impala that's what back on. We're doing on, now, so. eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess we're getting off. We're getting her off the hoist. We're getting now. her off the hoist. Getting there off it the is. Hoist again and getting out to the track, and it'll be front side no prep. So maybe we can put some air underneath these tires. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! All right, catch you guys in a bit. Right, quick update, we got out to the shop there at Tyler's, checked out the pinion angle, everything was all good with the pinion angle, so got it back home, got it all ready to hit up that track event, uh, that track rental, and unfortunately it got cancelled due to, to rain, so uh, pulled the car off the trailer, took another look at the anti-roll bar to see if it was still all good, so turns out for some reason I guess after we changed the upper control arm, that was out of whack, so I got that all fixed back up, but back on the street tires right now uh headed out for a tour make sure everything's all good and then we're actually going to hit up st thomas tomorrow for uh street legal testing too so hopefully everything works out like that so we'll get out there tomorrow night to start testing but today we're going to enjoy cruising around town in the car street car baby you ready yeah
All right, here we are back at St. Thomas Dragway. This seems to be a pretty common spot for us lately. Um, but what you can see is uh, we're actually at the front of the track today, which I'm sure I mentioned earlier in the video. But uh, yeah, we're out here uh, testing the new suspension setup. Got Bowie's gonna help out, do some filming on the suspension, see what we can figure out, because we got a test for uh, Ohio here. Keep um, my fingers crossed for the transmission. Yeah, fingers crossed for the transmission. So <laughs> we're not making the same mistake tonight like we made, like that was last year, the year before, where we came one weekend, it was shitty prep, came the next weekend, assumed it was shitty prep, and it wasn't. So we came up here to check, and it is sticky yeah. as fuck. So I think we're gonna chill for a bit, let some cars go down, and hopefully it, uh, loosens up a bit because I really don't want to send it on this but I have dropped down the launch RPM quite a bit changed a bunch of suspension stuff in the rear uh, with the extension and rebound so we're just out here testing see uh, see what the car can do and see if we can make it work good at the yeah. front see if we can make it work here front side because got an axle now got drive shaft, yeah, got you good know, axles everything transmission. We're, we got our fingers crossed for but everything else should be good <laughs> I think our only weak link is the transmission so and MT82 stay together because we only got two weeks till the hill and I couldn't imagine we'd have a T56 and all that sort of stuff in the car in two weeks so we're going for that record though we need the stock record. record you know we might have to see if we get some good times here we might have to run it out the quarter mile <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see in a bit. But, uh, I like that idea. Yeah. <laughs> but if you check out the yeah. surface here, you can pretty much hear it. My nice shoes. Pretty much walking out of my shoes here. Oh, yeah. You got to do the sideways. <laughs> yeah, so we'll wait a bit and then we'll uh, come up. They're just about to get started here probably in the next 20 minutes or so. So, yeah. Fastest yeah. 60 foot the car's ever done. Oh shit. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 148 to the 60 foot. Here I am thinking that didn't look that great, but it was the fastest great. 60 foot. And they went <laughs> six, That's how it looks though when you go fast. It's, yeah. It's working six, good. She's smooth, I guess. 651. Right? My fastest pass is 650. So that's not bad for So I got some data for you though. Yeah. I was walking away. She overheard. I didn't. But uh, he noticed that your left side track is like paddling over. Yeah. And your right one's not. It's more centered. It's in, oh. So you're, it, it looks like the cars. I wish I need to film from this mm. side. I need to check out what's going on yeah. over here, the driver's yeah. side. We'll do that. It's starting to spit a bit, so uh, hopefully yeah. we'll take a look at that video and then yeah. see if we I videoed a little bit of the, the tire marks. I don't yeah. know if I got a great view of it, but I tried. That's interesting. Yeah. Uh, maybe some of the any roll bar. Maybe it's maybe. maybe it's doing too much. I hit the limiter uh, second, the third. So if I wouldn't have done that, I probably would have been the fastest passing. Yeah, today, true. So. Oh, you did, eh? Yeah. Wow. That was so weird. That, that was weird. The car wasn't all over the place. I'm used to no prep where the car is all dancing. Yeah. The thing was just for going. For a second, I thought you were going for the quarter mile right away. I'm like, no. <laughs> and I hit the limiter That's at the cool, top though. of third, too, instead of hitting fourth. So hopefully, we get up here and make another pass. <laughs> Maybe I'll ride it right out. Who knows? We'll see. <laughs> but we'll take a look at the video. Yeah. Does it show only speed for quarter mile if you run the full track? Or does it show you a speed at your eighth? Eighth, 110, which is the fastest. Okay. That's the, my fastest oh, wow. pass was a 650 at 110, so right there. Yeah. Uh, and we only left at 3,500 RPM, so. Good. I mean, yeah. that's great then. That's excellent. That's I, I didn't actually start. think it was one of those runs. It kind of looked, I mean, it looked comfortable, but. Yeah. I rode it once. Well, it's not no prep, It's just right? different at the front yeah. of the track. Front of the everything track, is... everything hooking. It's not all over the place steering, <laughs> so. Yeah, we'll Man. take a look at the video and then uh, try to head up again before it rains. Hey, Jesus. I'm in. <laughs> All right, we're good. It's raining, so they called it. 
So unfortunately, we only got to make one test pass today, and it's two weeks till uh, Ohio. So maybe we'll try to get back next Friday. Might be the only option. It might be the only option. So I don't know if this will be under this video. If it is, there'll be another video after this with either testing or Ohio. Or Let's see. What do you got? What do you got? Looking like it. I don't know. It's it? looking like we're gonna be here next Friday. <laughs> but we did. Oh yeah. So we did look at the video, and it was still running over the tire a bit, but. Like I said, we took a bunch of rebound out of it, so... We got a little bit of that. data today. It's a little bit better, so... A little bit. When we were going back out, we were tightening up the rebound a couple more clicks to see if it would do less running over, but, uh, yeah, we didn't get to make that fast, so... We'll have to uh, either see at the next test session, or we'll have to see in Ohio. That's, That's where we're at, yeah. So, uh, we'll get her loaded up, and we'll be headed to, back home. I get to yeah. use my arm once today, loading them up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 